Hello guys, this is Mojo from 3chordguitar.com. We're looking at a classic song today. Um, the Night Rider's Lament, or however that word is pronounced in correct English. Anyway, uh, written by a guy called Michael Burton, and uh, just about everybody with anybody has sung the song. Sorry, sung the song. Uh, my favorite version is uh, from Chris Ledoux. And, uh, <coughs> So we're going to look at the song and how it's built, what chords we need. We'll start with a D, and then go to a G, and we'll have an A, and a B minor. Although, well, we could play like that actually, it would go something like this. One day while I was riding the graveyard shift midnight to dawn. Um, however, I'm just recovering from a really, really nasty bout with the flu, so I think I'm going to play it in G if you don't mind. What would be a G? C? D? And there might be an E minor in there somewhere. We'll figure it out as we go along. So if you don't mind, we'll just change the key so that my voice could uh, kind of follow along. So it starts in G. One night while I was riding C. Back to D, by G, pardon me. The graveyard shift midnight till dawn. There's your D. The moon, C, was bright. D, has a reading light. So we went. Reading was a G, and light was an E minor. Or letter C from an old D friend back home G. At the end there, I'd like to do this uh, thing. I basically it's just moving these two fingers, the index finger and the Johnny Cash finger, uh, up one fret, both of them. Basically, you're going from a G chord shape to a C chord shape with those two fingers. So it goes down, down, up, down, and at that stage I've moved the fingers up, down, and a second down I'm back to the normal G shape. And he asked, C, why do you D ride for your G money? Why do you row short pay? You and C getting nowhere, D, and your G losing your share. And it will be that we're share. Yep, so it will be an A minor. And then a C. Boy, you must have gone crazy, D, out there. Back to G in that same motif. <sighs> All right, so then we do this one more time. Um, Said last night I run into Jenny. She's married and has a good life. Boy, you sure missed the track when you never came back. It's perfect professional. And she asked me, why does he ride for his money? Why does he rope for short pay? He ain't getting nowhere and he's losing his shape. Must have gone crazy out there. Alright, so that was all the same chord progression there. And we get a bridge. But the nav C verse C D G the northern lights. So C D G E minor. Then back to C. Never seen a hawk D on the wing G. Never spent spring in the grave divide. Never heard old camp sing. And that's your song.
there's a third uh, course by our course, third, third verse, pardon me, uh, after that that goes, uh, while I read up the last of my letter, tore off the stamp for black jeans. Billy rode up to relieve me. He just looked at my letter and grinned, and he said, Why do they row right for the money? Why do they row for short pay? In the wear and they're losing their share. Must have gone crazy out there. That's the song. As far as the uh, strumming is concerned, it's a typical uh, country music ballad. Kind of imagine you're on a horse. Same idea. So it's so it's down, down, up, down, up, down. Down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, and then modify the, the not the pattern of the strumming as much as the tempo based on that laid back. That's what it is all the way through. I hope this was helpful to you. Enjoy the song. Uh, buy as many CDs from Chris Ledoux as you can. Rest in peace, Brother Chris.